Evening, thank you for joining us. We start with a news alert tonight. A major shakeup may be on the horizon in the New Roads Police Department. Sources tell WBRZ's Katie Easter an executive session on the council agenda tomorrow will discuss accusations about the chief and his employment. Katie, what's this about? Sylvia, a council member tells me Police Chief Delaney Lee will be given the option to resign before the meeting tomorrow. New Road City Council agenda only has a handful of items listed for Tuesday night's meeting. One of those items, executive session, personnel matter. After an anonymous tip came through to the WBRZ investigative unit that Police Chief Delaney Lee is facing sexual harassment charges from one of his female officers. One council member tells WBRZ that before the executive session, they will be giving Lee the option to resign. The WBRZ investigative unit also found that it appears that Lee failed to disclose on his application to New Roads Police that he pleaded guilty decades ago to soliciting a prostitute. Minutes from state court in East Baton Rouge Parish show that he pleaded guilty in 1996 to soliciting for prostitution. Lee was put on probation, had to take a class aimed at AIDS prevention, and pay a fine. When he applied to New Roads in 2016, Lee checked no to ever pleading guilty to a crime. We went to both police stations and New Roads to talk to Lee, but we're told he gets off at 4 p.m. He's, uh, he's not here. We also went to the address listed on this application, but was told by a neighbor he moved. Lee was appointed last year after Kevin McDonald retired. He was previously fired from the police department in January 2021 by then Mayor Cornell Dukes. Lee told WBRZ he believed his termination was a form of retaliation for a WBRZ investigative unit report that showed Mayor Dukes using a police detail at taxpayers' expense. I also sent an email to Lee, but have not heard back. The New Road City Council meets tomorrow night at 530. Live in the newsroom, Katie Easter, WBRZ News 2. Katie, thank you for that.